Hello everyone! Surprise, surprise! This is a pop-up healing. My nose is itchy. <laughs> Which, as you know, is my symbol for there are things that need to be said. Um, yeah, so I really wanted to spend last week, or it was, you know, my vague notion <laughs> to spend last week um, marketing for enrollment for July for the newly named Shaman Superstars University that was formerly known as Shaman School. And um, usually I enroll new students about every two months or so. Excuse me. My nose is already itchy. <laughs> um, <coughs> and so happy July. It's July 1st. So but what happened, ended up happening last week was um, I was undergoing um, sort of a build up of junk <laughs> that was, that was getting ready for a big release. And, and so I was not kind of in focus mode. Um, I was to a certain extent and for certain, certain projects that I already have going on. I mean, Shaman Superstars University, I do already have that going on, but I mean, different projects that needed like immediate, um, immediate like healing videos or lives or whatever delivered within, within the realms of, you know, what I already have going on. Um, so yeah, like kind of adding something to my plate, it didn't really pan out. So I'm focusing on enrolling the new students this week. Um, having gotten through what feels like 100% of the release that wanted to happen. Um, ooh, beautiful little amethyst cluster wants to be with us. Oh, feels so good. So what came through for this live, um, which is part of my campaign and an invitation into Shaman Superstars U, U dot, um, is there's been a very sort of death and rebirth energy in the in the healer tribe um, of which I am a part. And definitely for me, there was like a resurrection rebirth um, energy journey happening for, I don't know, like maybe even over a month or so this past month um, and a little even before that. So, so I'm, I'm feeling very much like um, the shamans of earth, of the new earth, of the new prosperity, we are coming forth after sort of cocooning, right, for a while, and coming forth in a new way, um, with new healing tools in our tool belt, with new downloads <coughs> that maybe humans have never before received or known about on Earth, you know, in this or any other lifetime. Like, we're harboring the state that my tribe is creating, which is heaven on earth. That is what we as a tribe, me and my magical witchy healer shaman tribe, that is what we are here to bring forth, facilitate, um, create, deepen, root down with, heaven on earth. And Never before this lifetime has that been sort of the end game, <laughs> as it were, um, uh, for healers. 
healers, we've always, you know, there's always been healers and shamans appoint, divinely appointed for the different tribes across the planet since the beginning of time. Um, and the end game has always been, you know, wholeness, empowerment. Um, if someone comes to a shaman, it is the shaman's job or, a, or divine assignment to, in as much as possible, support that individual um, in achieving soul wholeness, and which therefore moves throughout all the other levels. Um, you know, soul, energy, emotions, mind, body, and and allowing for your happiness, vitality, abundance, peace, and freedom to be evenly balanced and dispersed throughout all of these levels. You know, that all equals human empowerment, and um, and that's a shaman's divine assignment. Now, our tribes. <clears throat> in the new earth, in the new prosperity, thanks to technology and simply just a new way of being, our tribes have actually gone from only local, because that was all that was possible in the beginning of time, <laughs> to possibly global. Um, I had our last um, shamanic healing lab Zoom call. We had people from America, Canada, and Belgium all on the call. And um, and it was just, I mean, I'm, it's bringing tears to my eyes. It's just such a magical um, state that we've created, that we live in, where we get to connect on such a deep soul level across the entire planet. And, um, yeah, it's, it's something else. <laughs> it, is, it is truly magic. So with that in mind, I'm going to perform an abundance healing for us, the magical witchy healer, shaman, peeps of earth. Um, and if you are driving or doing something that requires you know very steady attention i would press pause on this and listen to the the rest of it later because it's my my shamanic healing slash new prosperity healing slash beyond the new prosperity type healing um is extremely vibrational extremely soul level you know possibly um trans inducing um, filled with different energy codes and sound healing codes um, that you will want to be in a quiet, meditative, present space for. Okay. So I'm going to put Amethyst Cluster down, and we're officially getting started now. I'm opening the circle of abundance and prosperity and wealth and money to rain in, on, for, from, and through, in all directions, within your being and realm, the healers of earth. Sin maya ya no naya 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 na. So no naya na 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 ya na na. Wata Nayana Yana Bringing in the energy of optical calcite for seeing things in a new way. How to create abundance, how to create money into your lives. Well, simple, <laughs> simple, not simple. Simple, charge for your gifts and services, charge. And the not simple part of that is 
it can feel challenging to charge because of lifetimes of being taught that we should never take money for our services. Wrong! <laughs> We're going to get rid of that right now. Big black tourmaline is aiding and abetting in the total blasting off and releasing of any and all abundance and money blockages from past lives or teachings from this lifetime. Ow. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it. The, um, especially on a mental level, like ancient poverty mindset and belief systems going, going, air bubble of release, <laughs> going, 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 gone, going, gone, 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 gone. Cough of release. <coughs> A lot's going. <coughs> I now see myself as already prosperous. I now see myself as the wealth witch. I am the abundance shaman. I am the abundant shaman. I am. I am. I am. Okay. Ooh, we. Yeah, a lot's leaving the head area. And this is for us all. I use myself as a proxy. And I get to receive the healing too. Weehee. Let's see. Little red jasper of some sort. It's coming in. Wale na ya na na ya na na ya na 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 Grounding us into our new prosperity, highest divinely witchy wealthy selves. <laughs> Woo -wee. Reasons unknown currently have the lyrics for Wake Me Up Before You Go Go going through my head. I always get song lyrics. Here's a beautiful little, what I believe to be an agate, very smooth agate, wanted to come in. So pretty, peachy and earthy. <laughs> In my inner meditative states and journeys, I have over time, over the years, gleaned the information that I was one of the first three shamans of earth. I knew I had several lifetimes, past lives as a shaman. Um, and then I learned that I was one of the first three shamans of earth. And, um, So I've been practicing and knowing about the core shamanic healing techniques for a mighty long time. <laughs> and I teach those in Shaman Superstars University. Uh, however, in addition to that, I also teach new inter-universal shamanic techniques that have channeled through me over the years. Um, because of our transition from old earth into new earth, and for the healers, our transition into the new prosperity paradigm, um, yeah, new, new energies and vibrations and tools and techniques have been necessarily channeling through me. Um, in addition to having that, you know, stability of the core shamanic healing techniques. So 
what I actually practice and teach. It's called interuniversal shamanism, interuniversal shamanic healing. I channel two other universes in addition to ours, in addition to up, up to dimensions 12 in our universe in our universe. Did I say universities? <laughs> it's so confusing with all the different universe universities, the U and I verse. <laughs> um, yeah, so I channel Hanikolo and Uji. Those are the two other universes besides ours that I channel. And I sometimes get information from a third universe that has yet to show itself to me on a grander scale and teach me its name. Um, but occasionally something will come through from there. Hi, lovely. My little puppy Baxter is just sitting very calmly next to me on my left side. I receive your love and I love you right back. So, aha, I knew it was coming. Guided to pull two goddess cards for us. They've been coming through a lot recently. Okay. Now this is itchy. <laughs> First time ever, even though I'm channel or guided to pull two cards, one, only one wanted to come through from the whole deck at a time. And now I have to re shuffle or whatever, remix, remix them up and get card number two. Interesting. Oh, that's because <clears throat> one from each of the universes wanted to be one sort of what's the word like um representing each of the universes they each wanted to come through in the goddesses how cool all right we got them so one from Hanikolo, which is the universe where the animals, flowers, and Lemurians come from. And one from Uji. I also call Uji the dark universe of illumination. And Uji has come forth through me um, to support the healers of Earth in attaining soulful success, whatever that means for you. So card... Oh, really? Uji wants to be read first. Ooh, Uji brings us Aphrodite, inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. And that's absolutely perfect. Oh, and there's a dove. It's so funny. When I really first looked at it, I thought it was a mermaid's tail, which doesn't really make sense. Um... Oh, so cool. There's a dove, and under the dove, it's like a vine of yellow flowers. When I see the beings of the universe Uji, they sort of look like animals and sort of look like flowers, but they're neither one. So I'm like, flower, you're not a flower, you're not an animal. I said, can I call you flanimals? <laughs> and they said yes. Um, so there's animals and flowers on the card. Thank you, Uji. And so what I'm getting from this is <clears throat> awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. I've big time been getting the that movement is now, it's always been a part of healing, but it's now absolutely essential 
And even if you have any sort of hit, hindered, you know, hindrance to movement, um, move what you can because it's literally moving the old energies out so that we can now create heaven on earth. And as the old energies move out, they move out of our bodies as well as just the atmosphere in general. And the more the old earth heavy residual energies move out of our physical bodies and our energy fields, the more we heal on all levels, including physically. I've been experiencing this big time if you have any questions about that, feel free to ask me. Um, yeah. So, yep. Move. Move, baby, move. <laughs> so that was from Uji. Wow. So what do we got from Hanikolo? Oh. Isolt, or Isolt. Undying love. The love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. And she's a very Lemurian looking to me. The Lemurians um, are healers. They're all healers. And um, they all carry medicine of, you know, like um, healing through and empowering with the totem animals, you know, flower essences, essential oils, plants of all kinds, healing herbs. Um, and Yeah, she's surrounded by flowers too. And very rainbowy, her garment. And very, um, yeah, I mean, she looks like a hippie. <laughs> you can't get much more Lemurian than that. Um, you know, in Lemuria, used to, they came down and created a civilization here in ancient times. And they were, a healing civilization and earth was not quite ready for that so the Lemurians said we're out of here <laughs> maybe we'll be back later now they're coming back through me and I know other people channel them as well <coughs> um, and the, the undying love the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation they're saying like we're here for you even if we're not on earth, we're here for you and we are pro creating heaven on earth. So they're literally in our corner. They got our backs. We just need to work with them and call on them. Um, you know, when we're performing our healing work and yeah, they're, they're bringing that amazing energy to the table. Um, and they always have, and they've always wanted to, even if they were physically not, no longer kind of able to sustain an earthly existence, um, physically. I think I said that already. <laughs> Just like a little beating that into the, into the ground there. Um, yeah. So, if you are shamanish, <laughs> if you're feeling shamanish, or if you're just kind of awakening to the fact that, or realizing or re-realizing that you're shamanish, <laughs> shamanic would be the simpler way of saying that, but that even is fun though. Um, and yeah, I, I would love for you to to go to the page and read more, read all about my journey, read all about um, what you receive in shaman school, in shaman superstars university. <laughs> the name change is pretty new, so I'm I'm allowed to slip up a little bit. Formerly known as shaman school, um, shamanic shaman superstars university, or shamanic. Shaman Superstars U, or just simply SSU. <laughs> kind of sounds like a ship, but that's okay. It kind of is a ship. It's a, it's an inter-universal ship that takes one on a journey from feeling ready to get grounded in your shamanic healing gifts, 
whether the main core shamanic healing tools and techniques and or bringing in the the newer new prosperity and beyond interuniversal shamanic tools and techniques that have channeled through me i teach them all and um included in the ssu um are also classes and courses and healings to help you get grounded in your abundance energy and comfortable with your visibility energy. Because to be a prosperous healer, you need both of those going on, right? So without further ado, go to www.healersalchemy.com slash shaman superstars you just the letter u shaman superstars you and i'll i'll put it in the i'll put the link in the comments and um and also separately as a post in and of itself and i would love for you to join us it's a very magical place to be and expand and heal and see and breathe and dream <laughs> come fly with me <laughs> love you guys